the compound interest accrued on an amount of rupees 25500 at the end of 3 years is 8440.5 what would be the simple interest on the same amount at the same rate and same period so as such if you see the compound interest is given to us 8440.5 the principal is given 25500 and the time period is given 3 years can you find out the rate of interest from these three values yes then he says what would be the simple interest on the same amount same amount meaning same 25500 at the same rate whatever rate you have calculated and same period same period is what three years so you know basically if you have to go by the formula it says ci equals to p into 1 plus r by 100 whole raised to the power of t minus p right or you can take p common here so anyway we get 844 0.5 equals 2 let's take p common 25500 into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power of 3 minus 1 so you know you have to solve this equation to find out the value of r only one equation in terms of uh, r which you can solve to get the answer but then this is a complex equation right you'll have to take a cube root cube root of 8440.5 divided by 25500 right complex equation and you may end up spending a lot of time uh, before you get the value of r there so not not suggested right this is not something that you have to do instead you can one thing is you can look at the options and maybe eliminate some of the options you know that <coughs> the simple interest will definitely be less than 8440.5 right compound interest is always greater than simple interest so simple interest should be less than 8440.5 so first verification is look at the options and see if there's any option that is less than 8440.5 by any chance if you find that you know three or four options are less than that simply kill this those options the left out option will be the answer but in case let's say more than two options or more than one option is greater than i mean uh, you know not all the options get eliminated then what do you do then simple try to find out how much is this total interest see how much compound interest have we earned in terms of percentage right percentage of compound interest how do you do this 8440.5 is what you have earned on a principle of 25500 into 100 do this calculation right and when you when you simplify you'll find that this is 33.1 percentage you'll get approximately 33.1 percentage are you able to follow now you know that 33.1 percentage is possible again this this requires that you have to be smart in calculation but there's a very basic one which you have discussed n number of times already right when will the compound interest in three years remember this time period was three years so at what rate the compound interest would become 33.1 percentage it is only when it is rate of interest is 10 right see 10 10 and 10 so effective of these two will give you 21 percentage these are rates of interest right for three years and then when you apply 21 and 10 on these two values how much will you get 21 plus 10 plus 21 into 10 by 100 this comes out to be 33.1 so we can conclude that the rate of interest was 10 percentage per annum that's it done now you know the rate of interest that is what we are trying to find out from this equation rate of interest is 10 percentage in three years how much simple interest will you get 30 percentage so simple interest will be equal to 10 percent into 3 which is equal to 30 percent 30 percent of what of the principal amount 25,500 now 30 percent of 25,500 will be how much uh, 7,500 plus 150 7,650 that's your answer